We move on. Semi-final number two. We're going to find out who's going to fight Fang. Qualifying group two, yes. Is it going to be Johan Dry from Fairfax? Because he is at Serbia. Nicola in the blue corner from Serbia, introducing Nicola Chimesa. Ronin Jr. Nicola Chimesa from Serbia. Ronin Carnage Global Team, 27 wins, 7 losses, an amazing 11 knockouts. He has three wins and one loss here in the Kung Moon Cage. Last time, took a tough loss to Sergei Kubala back in uh, Sanya here, back in uh, Kung Moon 67. But he's ready to advance in this tournament. He says he's ready, better than he ever been. Feels great, feels crisp. 24 years old, feels he's at his peak right now. Ronin Jr. Nikola Kaimesa. Hong Kong champion, in the red corner from France, introducing Johan Dai. And his opponent, Johan Dai, a Frenchman, 27 years of age. 178 centimeters tall, weighed in just under 70 kilograms of the weigh-in yesterday. Training out of the world-famous Fairtex gym, Padilla, Thailand. 33 wins, 9 losses. He's 4-1 on the Kunlun stage, 4 wins, 1 loss. And of course, last year in the tournament, he lost out in the quarterfinal stage to Belarusian fighter Zyanin Zuev in what was a fantastic battle. I was personally disappointed with uh, Johan's performance that night. I thought he didn't do enough. The victory was there, but that's in the past. We move on. It's Kundum 70, and it's the 2018 qualifying tournament. Johan Dry, the Frenchman, training out of Fairtex Gym in Padilla, Thailand, is back and looking to move on in the tournament. But his opponent, formidable warrior, Mr. Nikolai, this is going to be a war. It's France versus Serbia, Fairtex Gym versus Carnage Gym. Here we go. Slight height advantage, you can see. Age, quite younger for a Ronin Jr. Height advantage for Johan, other than that, virtually identical. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing 176 centimeters tall, age 24. His record, 27 wins, 7 losses, and 11 times won by knockouts. Fighting tonight out of Serbia, introducing Nikola Chimesa. Zuev, yes. and he was here, this uh, ideology of fighting with kick, kick, move, kick, kick, move. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. I don't like to regurgitate the past, but I felt that he could have won that fight. And now fight coming tonight. out of the red corner, standing but again, like I said, it's a on, new year, new tournament. His record is 33 wins, 9 losses, and tough fighting out of France. Standing opposite Mesdames and Messieurs, Johan de Gaai. Yeah, no easy roads here at Kunlun, no, for sure. Really That's why it's right. so, so popular and so respected throughout the world. Okay, this is the Kunlun fight. Kick the bottom. No wrong, no remiss. No rebound. No elbow. No clinch. Okay. I mean, he says no clinch, but we know yeah. this guy. He allows you. I guess he has to give the whole it, it, spiel. Of but, but again, as long as you're... You're scoring as long as you're moving. It just fluidity. Yeah, yeah. He, he lets it go. I like that. I like that, though, of course. I'm not talking about it. I'm the yeah. same. You know, 10, 12 seconds under the rules of Kunlun, I think it should be allowed. But sure. Again, right. here we go. Round one. Not... Nikola Chai Mesa, Serbia, in the blue. Johan Dry from France in the red and black trunks. Ooh, spinning already knocks Johan back. Johan's calm. Johan's calm. He's, he's a very similar fighter to Victor Nagbe. And his methodology in the mm -hmm. ring. A question there from Chai Mesa. Oh, thunderous kick there. Johan Dry just gets underneath the right arm. Goes for it again. Great distance. 
by uh, Nicola. Ooh. Heard that up in Beijing. Yeah, you could feel it in Bangkok. Wow. Ooh, nice over in there, yeah. right, Nicola? Connects. Inside leg kick. He's definitely setting the tone here in this opening round, but Johan is reading and waiting. Nice Great check. Body. Yeah, lovely combination, but a good check. Yep. But that's what Johan needs to do. He needs combinations, work, work the upper lower. He's got a very good guard, Johan, as well known. Wow. A body kick. Yeah, thunderous kicks there, Nicola. Really no joke, man. Clean and crisp as well. Oh, and a thunderous one by Johan. Yeah, Johan's known for that. Big leg kicks either side. Favors the left hand leg on normal occasions. He's starting to dig into Trimessa's uh, front leg there. Ooh, big combo. Big knee. Beautiful knee by Nicholas. Lands too. Zero pop from the crowd. He's the busier fighter here. He's the more aggressive fighter. Yeah, so far for sure. Round. That's what we saw with the Nagby fight. Maybe he wasn't too aggressive in round one. No. Figured him out, right? Exactly. Yeah. Johan, very cerebral fighter, very smart fighter. As I mentioned, he's a very, very similar, yeah, similar yep. technician in, in different contexts of style, but it's there. Oh, big body shot. Told him to break. Uh, Kaimessa cannot have his have his arms out like, oh, what's going on? Because Johan can, can knock him out during that break. He kind of had his hands down. Oh, and he'll sniff that out. Yeah, not in Kunlun. You can't do that. What Nikolai's doing there? Is he shimmy or something? Side kick and then a back, <laughs> a back fist. Like a not Van Damme spinning, move just or something. Back, yeah. Oh, no, I'm watching a blood sport. I have no problem with that. No. A little bit in the, okay, touch of gloves there. Final 30 oh, seconds of the first there. round. Caught. Yeah, I got caught again. That was the second time. That's why I eventually asked for a stop. Well, that was ref gets right. It was in coming there. because him, Nikolai's right kicks are just <laughs> going all over the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They need them to focus that. You know, you can't just be uh, with oh, oh, right. Right. Oh, right. great psychological boost yep. at the end of the round for Johan. It was very cerebral. He's very calm, very collective. Nikola Kainessa, a little bit more wild. A lot more active though, but uh, I'm very excited to see what this second round is going to bring. Because that whole feeling out process by Johan is, is done now. There's that head kick. Kind of messed the gong up there. There's that flying knee. He landed right in his jaw. Watch this. And they cut it right when we're there. But anyways, he landed right in his jaw and Johan just shook it off. Like a like he's from China. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Yeah. I'm just watching Hang Johan's yeah, corner yeah. right now. They're just his trainers are just telling him lead with your jab and then you, and, and launch your body kick. Are those ties in his corner? Yeah, the yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. yeah. guys from Fortex. Here we go. Round number two live from Sanya, China. Nikolai Kimesa from Serbia versus Johan Dry from France. This is a 70 kilogram. 2018 Kundun qualifying semi-final. Of course, the winner will face off against the winner of the last bout. Feng, Feng, Feng Shing Li. Oh, lovely knee against Feng. Yeah, that flying knee is nice. Oh, very he in the cup again? Very athletic. Very flexible. Oh, now you're on. Yeah, I think that, I think he got him in the cup again. You know, he's going to start getting a little bit oh, he's more gonna, He's going to turn up a notch here. He has to. He, well, he has to win. Yeah, he has to anyways. Uh, you know, 30 seconds in this round. He can't just keep letting uh, Kai Nessa dictate the pace. And this is not Muay Thai, this is not five rounds. Yep. Johan has fought here on five occasions. He knows the rules, he knows the ring, he knows the way the Kunlun mentality, great, the great ethos. Check. Great outside leg kick there. This is what I want to see. Johan's using the ring smartly, but he's not he's being effective enough. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I, I honestly had him uh, as an advantage coming into this fight. Absolutely, I, I would agree with sure, you. For sure, but. The thing about Nikola, Nikola, Nikola is his speed and his unorthodox movement. I was just unorthodox. He's a little bit wild yeah. here. I think he's throwing Johan off and just by be being a bit wild. And it can be frustrating for yeah. a fighter who's a, uh, you know. But Johan's not oh. a one-trick pony. He's got skills. He's got a lot intelligence. Of sure. There he is. Boom. Oh. Yeah, careful. Oh. Careful with that clinch. Oh. He's got the good ref, though, for that. Pull the sit down a little bit. Let's go. Halfway round two. 
that's what Johan is about. Johan's got to be busier with those kicks. He's got to, again, he's got to be busier. He's got to be landing them and kicking them in combinations. That's one thing Nicola definitely is, is a lot. He's just busy. Oh, it's busier. And if you're a judge, can you see that effect of aggressiveness and Whether it movement? hits, whether it's Chris, that doesn't matter. He's, he's just throwing, man. I like it. It was a nice body kick by uh, Johan, though. Switched up right hand side. Oh, nice switch kick. He's landing. He's he effective is. on occasions more, Nikolai. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now he's taunting him. That's, that's not the first time he has taunted him in this fight. It's probably the third time. Oh, spinning back fist. He shakes it right off. Get that dirt off your shoulder. Oh. Little Jay Z. Johan Dry <laughs> is being frustrated here yeah. by his Serbian opponent on occasions. He's got oh. to find. Oh, oh nice dump. He's got the power. He's a big, ah. naturally bigger guy. And chiseled, too. He's bodied up. You know, and very physically uh, Both guys. Up. Great physical attributes. Oh, nice kick there. Great defense, too, by uh, Ronan Jr. He's, he's always has his hands where he needs them to be. He's always up or down. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Oh, great. Great right there. Ronan Jr. Ten seconds. Second round. Good knee now. Here we go. Oh, the lovely step in knee by Johan. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh. Round two in the books. I don't know. Johan here just raised his arms in the air with confidence there. At, he needs to do more. He's been clinical on occasion, but... I don't think he's done enough to Maybe I'm not seeing the same fight the judges are. Very busy second round for Nikolai there. On occasions, again, Johan landed some nice body kicks, switched up left, right. Yeah, a lot more technical, a lot more crisp, but just punches and punches and uh, significant strikes. you got to give it to Ronnie Jr. There's no question, he's, uh, his, tech his technical ability is there to be seen. But let's see what he can do now during the final round. Yeah, this is it. Three minutes. We're going to find out who will fight Chang Shi Li later on tonight. And if you notice... The guys in the first Federal. bracket tonight, they only had one fight rest to go into the final. These guys had four fights before, because they're the last fight of the night. Ooh, that's huge. a little bit. Huge difference. So they're fight number nine. The final is fight 14, so they have five fights rest. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13, four fights rest. And if you were in the previous semifinal, you have five. Hmm. Round three, live, Sanya China, Kunlun 70, Johan Dry, and the red and black trunks. Nicola Kimesa in the blue and black. And this is the third and final round, as I mentioned earlier. The winner of this fight will move on to the final qualifier tonight. Seems like Feng Xing Li is waiting for the winner of this bout. Looks like Nicola just keeps doing what you're doing. Confusing your hand, punches and bunches, yeah, landing, he's, he's moving, he's, good footwork, head work too. The exuberance of youth. Is it winning right now? Johan looks, I won't say bewildered or bedazzled, but just a little bit One thing though flustered. That, but he's also not getting hurt. Like, I feel like he's, not, I'm not, yeah, he's exactly. like, kind of like shaking it off. Like he still thinks he's winning due to the fact that he's not really like going to rock, but it's just not enough time, man. Now, the only thing, if you're watching this as a judge, Johan's effectiveness on occasions with those big body kicks and, you know, movement in the ring. But, you know, let's see. Let's find out. Oh, another spinning. I, oh, uh, Johan calls for the elbow on that spinning back fist, but it's definitely unintentional. Kaimessa is staying busy. No, it's so busy. He's so, accurate. So busy. Yeah, energy. It's like, it's like an energy bunny. Yeah. Not nonstop. It's like the batteries can never run out. Yeah, he has a lot of energy. He's so busy. The combinations just keep coming. And then his hands, his defensive awareness, it's yeah. there. I mean, he's just, his motor is going crazy now. If I'm watching this, if I'm Feng backstage watching this fight right now, who do you want? Who do you want? Look at him, moving around. Now, yeah, who do you want? I, I mean, neither one of these monsters. I'm going to say Johan right now. Yeah, he just seems a little bit um, out of sorts. lethargic. Out of, bit sorts, out of sorts, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, the energy of Krymessa, he does have a lot of backing as well. Probably not a coalition. Nice body there by Kimesa. Boom! Up top! A little bit too late though, 50 seconds left. Your man on occasions has landed some nice combinations, body kicks. 
now the confidence, now, now the, the, the confidence in Johan's face is, yeah. is, is, is coming into the fight. But not nah, 30 seconds left. The, the, the gloves were there, Venom gloves right there every Still time the time. head kick, yeah. 28 seconds. It seems like uh, Kaimes was just a, a tad faster. Oh, are they doing the time move now? No, no they're doing it. Are they just going to showboat? Another right? guy should showboat right now. Another, they need to solidify. Whoa. Oh, the speed of that combination by Kaimes was beautiful. Absolutely yeah. bedazzling. He is a controlled uh, chaos. Yes. You know what I mean? Because it, it looks like it is. But Lovely, it if we watch this fight again, you'd see how technical he really is, I bet. He's kind of lost in the moment here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very, very good fight. Yeah, control. I really like that. Ronan Jr. Nikola Klaibessa versus Johan Dry in our ninth fight, Cool Moon Fight 70. This is the 70 kg World Championship qualifying B. Winner gets the prize of fighting Feng Shi Li, who fought earlier today. Not much of a prize for anybody, but somebody's got to take out that monster before they advance in this tournament. And we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Oh, there's a kick there by Johan that got through right there. Gloves were just a second late. But the hands from Kamesa, boom, landed there. The busyness of Kamesa. Got out of the way there. Defense was really great. Yeah. I think it's defense is the uh, sleeper of the fight. It's like the unhurled and superstar yeah, really, with his armor. Yeah, great, great defense. Uh, I think he frustrated and yeah. flustered. Right from the get-go. But I think Johan flustered himself. He was out of sorts. He was. Now, maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe, but, but let's wait for the judge's decision. It's not up for us to call. Kai Messa, though, there's so much energy. Judges are just working. Take a look at the, uh, Under the watch eye. Take a look at those officials. hands again. Look at that. Johan misses. Carmessa hits. Carmessa right there with the hands up. There was Johan getting through the defense, but maybe a little bit too little, too I late. Carmessa had some great hunger in that in the entire nine rounds. I mean, nine minutes of that. Just it, it, it was like he had energy. Both from, guys with their arms raised. Yeah. Okay, and according to the rules, this bout needs of Joe, you fight the next round. Wow. That's a majority draw. Wow, wow, wow. 30, 33, ju judge two, three, and five scored the bout a draw. Judge one and judge four scored the bout to the Serbian fighter. Yeah. We are going an extra round. Wow, I did not see that coming. Yeah, okay, you didn't see that coming because I didn't at all. I didn't see that. Coming. But you did notice during my commentary, I did say on occasions, yeah, Johan yep. did score he did. with technical ability there. So, okay, if you're a judge, no problem with that. And it's it's not a, it's not a travesty. Not at all. So nope. not at all. Here we go, and we get to we get to see yes, exactly a great extra fight. And I think Johan knows he got a little bit lucky there. He needs to take it to him, and there he is. Once again, the winner gets Feng Jing Li, which we saw earlier today fight. Who we saw? This is Sorry. a complete war of attrition here. Both yeah, guys now. Now. now they're going. This is it. This is, this is a new fight. You can't look back. Do you know who really wins? Feng, because these guys had to go Absolutely. war for another round. But you're right, though. They do get five. Or four fights in between. Yeah, Fang has had like five. And yeah. this extra and round. This extra round yeah. Now, this is a new fight. This is a new fight. You don't look back. Nope, this is it. Just this round. round. That's done. all we're looking at right now. Whoever wins this round advances. Wow, these combinations from Johan were not in the opening three rounds. Look at how crisp these dudes are. I can't separate these guys right now. Yeah. Even now, and we're nearly a minute into this uh, third uh, fixing They're fixed brawling, round. too. So cerebral and tactical, these two guys. One, two, three, nice combination again. But Johan coming right back. after him. Yep. Kimesa blocked it. 
This is fantastic, though. You gotta admire it. Oh, yeah. oh, great, great from both fighters. Oh, Ooh, got the glove. Oh, oh that's oh, no, no, no. That was an elbow. Yes. Oh man. Elbow. Wow. Oh, but it wasn't. In, it wasn't on purpose. No, definitely not. Okay, they're gonna let him go. Great one-two, low kick. Flush with that elbow. Definitely walked him. Definitely not intentional. Did you see? You can yeah, see yeah. the extension of yeah. the of the hand. Ooh, the top, your hand. Your hand. Double is push kick. Here we go. Starting to be dominant here. He's selling it. He's selling himself. Yep. And he wants to move on. I messed it though, not giving up. It. Still digging in. You can see the, the Serbian way the is pressing here, pressing the action. Oh, this is a fantastic fight. Absolutely. You hit the nail on the head. The winners are the fans. And the oh, fans. yeah. And, and, and Feng Xing Li. And, and of course, can't oh, forget. Oh, careful with that clinch. Good job. Oh, uppercut there, Kai Mesa. And an uppercut there, Johan. Wow. Big Both double knee. Here we go. 44 seconds. Both guys just leaving everything in the ring Absolutely. Right now. They're, they're, now they're spinning back. Extended the arm. Great technique, Johan. Wow. Could not get caught again. Oh, oh, oh. France back. versus Serbia. This is a war, guys. Unbelievable. Johan Dry, Nikolai Kimesa. Who is moving on to the final? Nice Kimesa is talking to him during the fight. He's trying to find energy from somewhere. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and a beautiful oh. sweep. Scores high and nice for the judges, man. That could be the that could be this, uh, Yeah, that might be it, man. Kiss with a rose. That could be it. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Yeah, they're going more time now. <laughs> Your hand dry. May go. Good push kick. Oh, wow. Primessa, put them on the ring. Whoa. All right. Ronin Jr., Nikola Kaimessa, what, Serbian. What? Johan Dry from France, our fourth round. Teddy, while we're waiting for the. Uh, Judges scores in that round. Go back to the judges scores on the on the five judges. Okay. First of all, go to the replay. All right, let's take a look there. Just brawling in a phone booth here. That right hand connecting all night long for Kaimessa. There's a, a beautiful kicks blocked by Kaimessa, but still technique for Johan, amazing. Great left here. I think Kaimessa, Johan good. has done enough. I really think Johan Dry yeah. has done enough. Well, I. To say the truth, I didn't think he did enough. I wouldn't have given him a fight in the first three rounds. I have to but agree with you. Throw that away. Throw that away. It's irrelevant. It's just the fourth round. It's irrelevant. I you think Johan got it. Yeah. I think he slipped past. But I mean, was it, is it a travesty? Like you said, no, it's not. No, it's one's not a travesty. No, 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 no. It, the fight could have been a draw. E e yeah, fine. Either way, it's good. Very it's good close. Go. Wow. We have a lot of conjecture going on over the judges' table. What? Head, head official Tony Chen is up on the ring canvas right now. And a great sportsmanship between yeah, both fighters. They're watch. giving each other hugs. Wise. Here we go. Here it one is. is going home with a smile. He holds up on judge number one. Shubi Jiu, Ted Nai. Our holds up on judge number two. Shubi Jiu, Ten to Nai. Sun holds up on judge number three. And your winner by Bi Sai Jian Wong. Hong Fong Shang the Red Corner. Wow, there you have it. Johan Dry from France. He takes it. Three of the five judges saw the extension round to him. 10-9. Two judges, interestingly, scored the final round to his opponent, Nikolai Kimesa. But I think that sweep and that extreme aggressive dominance in the early part of the extension round sealed the deal. And no matter what happens, Johan Dry moves on, where he'll face off against Feng in tonight's final.